Well, absolutely. I think yeah. more than ever we have come together, both state and the voluntary sector. I think some of your other guests have said we're naming things much quicker, we're planning much more. We were getting calls from Dublin City Council, the DRHE and Kildare County Council as early as last Friday and Sunday. And we were well organised uh, right. by Sunday night, Monday. All our staff were asked to come in, to stay in, to make arrangements. To, to do a double, a treble shift. Have you been sleeping in that sports hall I saw on the news there during I the week? I have. Well, I haven't been sleeping. Uh, I, I've been up since 8 o'clock yesterday morning, but that's besides the point. But, yeah. um, but that's what you're doing. You're ready. You're uh, seeing sports. We were asked to take the sports hall by the DRHE. They threw all their staff to it, um, and we turned it around in six hours. We had 70 beds made up on Monday. We had 45 people in those beds. By last night, we had 120 beds made up, and we had 115 people in it. And by... About 11 o'clock last night, we still knew that there were 21 people on the streets. And myself and the, the director of services said, fact this, we went back out and we stayed out till 5 o'clock and we brought in a tour to them. Yes. Um, and yet we still found there were about 14 people that wouldn't come in. It's, it's interesting that those 14 people you mentioned are what people remember nearly more than uh, anything else. They're going, why those 14 people? And, and I think the pop psychologists among us were going, I think they've become so... Uh, acclimatised to a way of life. They simply are institutionalised almost, if you like, Absolutely. by having no, no institution. That makes sense? Absolutely. That they there are was, so was, used to the thing they can't physically there move. Was some, there were some fabulous stories last night, some very sad stories as well, but one of the fabulous stories was we, oh, there's no guards in the audience. We drove up the wrong way up Henry Street twice. Um, <laughs> I won't tell anyone if you don't. <laughs> and we, uh, we got a lad and you know, we knew where people were, we knew yeah. their names and I said, are you so-and-so? And he says, I can't believe you've been looking for me. Yeah. And, uh, and that was really good. He got in the van. But and isn't that a gorgeous story, it was a great actually? Story. For, if you yeah. pause on that for a second, I can't Absolutely. believe you were looking for me. It says something about me. the decency of what you guys do. Yeah, and when we came back the second time with another group of people, one of the staff says, he's leaving. I said, what do you mean he's leaving? Yeah. He's had his shower, he's changed his clothes, he's, he's gone. So we had another word, he stayed. We couldn't get everybody in, but I want to tell you, our listeners, that we got another four people in um, oh, yeah. earlier before the show. And the one that was, we were most worried about last night, yes. we got him in. You got him in. That's, that's great work. Continued success with that.